Hello and welcome to Owen Towers and the attraction source event Twisted Vengeance. My name's Matt, this is the Coaster Giant channel and here's what's coming up on today's vlog. <laughs> attraction source event today it doesn't start until 12 o'clock so I've had a nice lie in this morning it's a bit different to normal we've got um, registration 12 till half 12 then we've got a nemesis quiz at half 12 to 1 o'clock which I'm gonna lose <laughs> I'm rubbish at retaining information um, and then we've got a guest speaker telling us all about the reconstruction of nemesis 1 till 2 then we've got some free time and then we've got a whole hour at the end of today to ERT Nemesis. I believe there's like 140, 150 people on the event today. So we're gonna get a lot of rides in. Stick around till the end of it, the video and find out how many we get. We have got an hour before registration on the attraction source event, which is on Tower Street. So we've just checked the times. Oblivion's on five minute wait and 13 is on a 35 minute wait. So our aim right now is to get on Oblivion get over to Dark Forest, get on 13, and then get back to Tower Street for 12 o'clock. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> it's had a great ride on Oblivion got a back row and it took 10 minutes in the queue. Um, in this vlog, I thought, I've been to Towers a few times already this year, but I've not done a vlog about all the changes that they've done over closed season. So I thought I'd bring a bit of that into this vlog as well as all of the attraction store stuff. And one of the big improvements in X Sector is all of these new graphics on the arcade, just on the exit. And everything is looking very clean and fresh. Let's go and have a look in that pit. So we can see down in the Oblivion pit, it's all been jet washed, it's all looking very clean. It's all been repainted as well around the drop and the steam is in full effect. I think that sign's been totally repainted as well. It's all looking very fresh around here. I'm pretty sure all this fencing's new as well on the exit. So Oblivion is a great way to wake up in the morning. And now we're heading into Dark Forest. We've got 35 minutes before registration and the queue is stated to 35 minutes. There's a half an hour window for registration, so we've got to get on this, off it, and down to Tower Street, all in the next 50 minutes. No way, we were just about to walk through the entrance and it went from 30 minute wait time to a 60 minute wait time. Time to change our plans. I think someone just mentioned a pint. We might have a pint instead. I'm here today with Tom, Hello. Rich, and Kieran. Hello. It's very windy, so the sound might not be great in the rest of this vlog. We're hoping that it doesn't get too windy that rides start to close, because that could be an absolute disaster. But yeah, I think we're gonna head down to the Welcome Inn, because all the rides are posted at over 40 minute wait. We've only got 30 minutes to kill. Um, and I reckon I could manage a pint in 30 minutes. Bad times. It's not open yet. <laughs> it's only 10 to 12, but hopefully it'll open today at some point. So if you have watched the channel before, you'll know that in terms of merchandise, I like a good mug, but I'm not that bothered about anything else. I'd rather save my money and spend it on like park visits and um, European trips. But um, in this video, I'm in Towers Trading because I want to show you the resins for this year because they're actually like really nice. That shelf totally wobbled then. 
So let's have a look. Oh my god. So there's the towers themselves, which are looking very smart. There's a couple of the curse. So you've got the key and you've got the actual front of the house as well. And on the rear of that, you get inside. Over here, this is the one that's really tempting me at the minute. You've got the Oblivion one. Now some, they're all like very like unique. They're all very different. Like you can see that one is different width there to that. So you have to pick and choose which ones you really like. But I really like this Oblivion one. It's just a shame that when it's on a shelf, it faces down because you lose a lot of the um, detail on the front. But I do really like that. I've not seen this. I've not seen this Rita one before. See, like I don't love Rita. Like it's a fine coaster, but it, like these resins make me want them. All the ride resins, I believe, are eighteen pound each as well. So fifteen pound with discount. You've got the Galactica one. It's quite small compared to the others, to be fair. There's lots of smaller stuff, but not a resin yet. So I reckon that must be coming soon. Again, like, 13 is a good coaster, but I'm not madly in love with it. But the train design on these resins is absolutely <laughs> stunning. Okay, I don't do pins, but I'm reliably informed by Kieran. So there's loads of new ones for this year. Quite a few of them actually do say 2024, so they're obviously for this year. And then there's all of these as well. We've got Wicker Man. We've got some throwback pins. The Spinball one spins. So yeah, if pins are your thing, it looks like there's loads of new ones for this year. And finally, there's the Wicker Man one as well. Like the detail on these is really good. You have to pick and choose because like some of the paint can be a little bit dodgy on them sometimes. So make sure you double check which one you get in, but these just look fantastic. More new stuff for 2024. Got Wickerman Warmies. So they're the ones that you put in the microwave and warm up. I even like really like these cushions. There's new freestyle cups. Shaped in Wicker Man. I think I've got some of them in Nemesis as well, over in the Nemesis shop. They're 20 quid. Obviously you get, get the drink and everything with them as well. So yeah, it looks like Towers. Merlin in general are really up in their merch game. Right, it is uh, 12 o'clock, so it's time for registration at the, at the Attraction Source event, which is just down on Towers Street in the Towers Suite. Um, so let's show you what happens on an attraction source event. So to come on one of the events, you buy tickets online. And to find out when the events are, I recommend following them on Instagram and Twitter. That's attraction source or Towers Times. And then you'll be kept up to date with all the events. And you'll get to know first when they're happening. We are in. So we've registered, we've got our wristbands on. And this is what the Towers Suite looks like. And the inside of an attraction source event. So we've just got in, they've got refreshments as well. So they've got tea. Biscuits, cakes, coffee, all that sort of stuff. That's all complimentary as part of the event. Okay, so we've done quite a lot since I last spoke to you. I got 13 out of 25 in the quiz. Well, I'm, I'm not actually mad at that. I did better than quite a lot of people. Um, I guess when I, I've made videos in the past about Forbidden Valley, so I guess the research on that really helped me out in the quiz. Didn't win, but wasn't a car crash. Right. We also had a talk with Dave Taylor, who is the lead project manager for Merlin Making. He's based at Alton Towers, and he's been the main project manager for Curse Alton Manor, bringing back Subterra and Nemesis, which is like, obviously a huge task. Imagine project managing that. Massive, really insightful talk, really interesting. Um, and then we had a half hour question and answer session as well, which is to ground for. Didn't get any real, um, gossip on what's going on at Towers but obviously he's finished them three projects now so I wonder what's going to be next right we went to Woodcutters now I've always been a fan of Woodcutters I was a bit disappointed so it's more it's a premium place to go and eat um, they've started serving the food in like weird plastic baskets that you'd get from like B&M or somewhere I wasn't a fan of that the food was still really nice and well priced for what it was. I had a truffle chicken burger with chunky chips and a pint. It's like 17 pound with um, annual pass discount, which is really good, I think. It's basically pub grub 
in a theme park for about the same time as same price as a pub so not mad at it just wish it was still served on a plate like don't get the plastic basket thing anyway it's three o'clock now we're heading on to one of the best dark rides in the uk if not the best it's time to go on curse at Alton manor Sadly, we're not getting the Congo River Rapids today. But, on a plus note, that run through on Curse was one of the best ones I've ever had. Everything triggered, the sound was spot on. The lighting was perfect as well. The only thing I noticed, some of the casing as you exit the trommel has been like ripped off, exposing all of the, stud, the wooden stud work. So I don't know what's happening with that. It's only like a very thin sliver, but. I've got to the point where I've ridden Curse so many times now that I recognise and notice every little thing. But no, I was impressed with that. And the queues aren't too bad today. Nothing's actually posted at over an hour at the minute. So we're heading to Wickerman. That's only posted on 45 minutes. So here we go, Wickerman posted at 45 minutes. The queue is just up there. So we're not in the first cattle pen, which isn't too bad. Hopefully the timing will be right. And there's some new stuff on this ride as well, so over at the um, merge point they've got new rain covers which is really good. I really appreciated that the other day when I was here because it was raining really bad so now you get a bit of shelter over there. They've also widened the door on the way in so where the baggage hold is. It's a massive open doorway now instead of just a singular doorway which was always a bit of a, a nightmare to get in and out of. So it's good to see them kind of improvements happening at the park to improve guest experience. Um, the people that work here, they're gonna stay dry now at that merge point. And um, wider doorways just means it's easily accessible. Well, the rides have now got century level posters as well. So loads of information before you get on the rides. From here you can see the canopies. And here it comes. So it's not just the rides and ride areas that they spend money on at Alton Towers. You can see they've also painted up and done a lot of restoration work on that monument at the top of the gardens. It must cost millions to maintain all of this and the towers themselves. So we're heading into the dark forest through the little back entranceway. And there's all new um, posts and wiring all in place. It looks like they're gonna add loads of lights to that, which is good. And 13 at the minute is one of the lowest queues in the park. It's only on 35 minutes. So we're gonna give it another go after failing miserably this morning. <laughs> There's lots of stuff that Towers have done this year that probably gonna go unnoticed by a lot of people, but like all of this fencing has been replaced. You can see the posts have been re, re cemented into the ground. So they've spent a lot of money on general maintenance that people probably wouldn't even notice but it's good to see that Merlin are splashing the cash to look after the place. Okay, Rita's on a 25 minutes so seeing as we're here we're going to give it a go but from 13, we could see it wasn't even like under the launch section, the queue. So I'm hoping it's not actually 25 minutes. So one update that's really important and really good. They've got these signs throughout all of the major um, coasters and rides now, all in the queue line. So if you need to get the attention of the Alton Towers team at all, any of the security or anything like that, then you can scan the barcode, sorry, scan the QR code and um, you can report any issues you're having to them. Which I think is really good. Wow, even though it's still windy here at Towers, the sun is out and it's really bright. It feels like the first time I've been in a theme park with just a t-shirt on for ages and it feels good. So um, we just did Rita. It's uh, Rita. <laughs> it was, I did feel like it was surprisingly intense after the highest point 
when you come down and then take that bend. It's still quite intense coast though, it's a good one. Um, there's some new benches outside of Woodcutters, which is good. There's, I've seen quite a lot of um, extra picnic benches around the park today, which is always good if you want a little chill out. Um, and now it's half five, so it's half an hour of park day left. We've got to be over in Forbidden Valley for quarter to seven for our extra ride time where we get to ride Nemesis exclusively for an hour from seven till eight tonight. So we're going to go and get a pint at the Welcome Inn and then head over to Forbidden Valley. Well, this is good to see. It's the last hour of the day and they've managed to get the Congo River Rapids open. I love the way as you leave Curse, the blue lights turn to the warm white lights as you get closer to Forbidden Valley. I like how like all the lighting is now being themed to the areas in terms of its colour, which is really cool. Here we go, it's first time in Forbidden Valley today, which is weird, but we've saved saved this area for last. To see what air. Uh, because we've got the whole ER2, yeah, we've got an arrow nemesis, so there's no need to queue up today. We're gonna have a little look inside the new arcade training facility. Do you think that sign looks quite temporary on the outside? As I said in my uh, previous video that I uploaded the other day, this is a big space just for a little arcade. At least quite a lot of them have got like um, phalanx theming on, theming on the walls, and they've got vinyls on the front of all the machines, so it's not quite like um, Blackpool esque. But yeah, this is massive compared to how it used to be. Okay, somebody tell me in the comments, are these little windows always this shape or have they been shaped like eggs on purpose to fit the theme? I do appreciate that they've revinyled all of these and the Seek the Truth one is back as well with them t-shirts that I spent 30 pounds so far trying to win and I can't justify going on them again. Might I limit myself to one pound every visit? So they're t-shirts, they don't sell them in the shop, they're only available in that grabber machine. Why have they got an elephant in it? Okay, it's ERT time. We're at the back of the queue. But there's, um, I think there's 150 people on this. There's eight rows on each train. And if they dispatch pretty quick, we should get a fair few rides in. Forbidden Valley actually just looks stunning at night. Obviously it's not completely dark yet. It's darker than it looks on the camera because it brightens everything up. But the lighting and everything around here is stunning. The station looks absolutely amazing. Here's one of the last trains of the ERT. The way it goes around that helix and over that zero G is so fast. I'm sure it's faster than it used to be. I absolutely love it. Oh my God, that was incredible. We got seven back-to-back -back rides on Nemesis Reborn. And I also got what I wanted. I got my front row, not once, but I got two front rows, just by the like, look of the drawer as well in the queue. There's no front row queue now. My first front row ride on that was incredible I, I am um, it was just it's such a different coaster when you're on the front row because you see everything coming when you see that eye flying towards you it is incredible I came off shaking like actually not like from being scared or anything just pure adrenaline and finally getting on the front row and seeing everything that this coaster has to offer from that perspective because I've not done it since it's changed and it is just it was amazing to get that and I got it twice here it comes It's just so, it's roaring around the track. The forces 
on this helix, the zero G, and at the bottom of the loop. Uh, I don't know, like I know I've not been on the old one since uh, 2022, but it definitely feels faster and it definitely feels more intense. And yeah, we've got seven rides, so um, definitely we're getting onto the attraction source event. We've had the quiz, we've had a really good talk, and we've had seven rides on Nemesis back to back, queuing about two or three minutes for each ride, so it has been absolutely brilliant.